Alright guys, welcome back. Something a little bit different this week. Um, this was a tutorial request. One of the many on the list that I was just like, oh hey, I can do this pretty quickly and simply. I'll get this one out of the way. So this one is um, basically going to be how to make your screen shake. Um, it's something that's kind of common, I suppose, if something like explodes or you're shooting something or some big attack goes off or something like that. It's a nice uh, visual effect and it can add a kind of it can add quite a lot into like specific little moments in your game. So um, yeah, I'm just going to show you. Basically, I've got this little setup here um, with this white cube being the player, and you can move around like that. And I've got these walls you can shoot at. And just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to make it so that whenever you shoot one of these walls, I'm going to make the screen like do a little shake. And hopefully, the way in which I do this might give you some ideas for other effects and things you can create using um, view manipulation because I'm going to be working with the views today. Um, so make sure um, first of all that you've got enable the use of views ticked on your view tab and um, on visible render room starts on view zero. We only need view zero, um, that's all we need for today. Um, but yeah, make sure that's turned on. If you don't know anything about views or how these work or what that even means, I do have a tutorial where I basically explain the concept of what views are. They're like the cameras of your game. So um, hit up that tutorial if you've no idea what's going on. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to create uh, an object up here that is specifically for causing this screen shake effect. So whenever I want to create this effect, um, I'm just going to create this object and this object is going to be set up to do its effect and then destroy itself. So it, that's its only function. Uh, it's kind of a useful way to do effects like these because then if later down the line you want to create this effect in a different place you don't have to copy and paste any code or anything like that, you just create this object and it'll do everything for you. So, and I'm going to change my naming convention up a little bit here um, because like this isn't a specific object in the room as such as it, it only has this one purpose to create this effect. So I'm actually going to call this effect underscore shake. You don't, you don't have to name it like that, that's just kind of a, a way I been liking to do it recently. So I'm going to call this effect underscore shake and the first thing I'm going to do is in the create event I'm going to add some code and I'm just going to set uh, alarm zero to be equal to uh, 30. Uh, what that means is I'm just setting up an alarm to say in 30 frames from now I'm just going to kill this object meaning I'm going to have the object do its effect like every single frame while it's alive and then when it gets to 30 frames um, kill itself. That way, you know, I mean, basically that's how long I'm going to want the screen to shake for. So that's all I need for the create event and then in the step event what I'm going to do is basically every single frame of the game I'm going to shift the, the view of the room a bit so that it creates this kind of screen shaking effect. So I knew this with view, x view, um, I'm going to say equals, and I'm going to use basically this function called random underscore range, which is going to generate a random number between two, two values that I give it, and I'm just going to give it minus two and two, so that like, as you can see, it's going to like basically position our, the x coordinate of our view, like, at an offset somewhere between minus two and two, and that's going to be different every single frame. So it's going to create this horizontal shaking effect, like every single frame while this object is alive. And then we'll do the same thing with our uh, y coordinate, so that it shakes, you know, a bit more all over the place. Range and same again between minus two and two, just like that. And then basically when that alarm triggers, so if we go into events, alarm zero. When this alarm triggers, all I'm going to want to do is again just set view x view back to zero, which it was before, or back to whatever it was, you know, and however your game's working. Obviously, if you're doing different things with your views, like if you've got your views following your character around, then your solution might be a little bit more complex than this. Um, but I'm just doing this to give you the idea of the effect you want to cause, and then, you know you can find ways to adapt that to your own specific needs. So I'm going to set the views back to how they were and then I'm going to just kill the object so that we don't shake it any more than that. So I'm just going to say instance underscore destroy. You could use the destroy instance action up here instead. 
and you could use the alarm set action in here instead if you didn't want to use uh, the line of code. But then that's really all there is to it. So on creation, sets itself a time limit of 30 frames. Uh, every single frame jitter the uh, jitter the the view about a bit, shake the view about, and then when that alarm time is up, uh, set the view back to how it was, kill the object. All that's left for us to do now then is to say whenever the fireball hits the wall uh, create that object and it'll do everything for us. So the moment when it hits the wall it's just destroying itself, just destroy the instance up there. Um, we don't really even need to use code for this, I mean the code for it would just be instance underscore create, but you can just use this create instance thing um, to do the exact same job. Uh, create object effect shake, uh, zero zero, it doesn't matter where we put it, like the coordinates are totally meaningless. Pop that above, destroy the instance so that, that happens first. And then, hopefully, when we run the game and I shoot the wall, the screen should shake about a bit. Yeah. As you can see, and run around. If I shoot over here, nothing happens. But if they hit the walls, boom, 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 it creates this kind of neat little shake effect. It lasts for a specific amount of frames. Like, if you wanted to make that shake more violent or something, you could just easily come into here and say, uh, I don't know, like, just increase these numbers a bit. Or uh, if you wanted to make it last longer or shorter, just change the you know the value in here. Like if I set this to say like 10 frames or whatever, and then I run the game, it'll be like a much shorter, a little much shorter shake going off there. And you can play about with that all you want. It's really really simple tutorial. Um, really simple effect, and it's kind of really quite easy to fit into most games. Um, I'll upload the the project file for this because it's really straightforward, and then you can download that and just see what I've done. Although it, it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, okay, yep, that's all I got this week. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.